Hello folks. So let's go and install Android Pie on our OnePlus 6, which is the latest OnePlus model. First of all, we download the beta version from the website of OnePlus. You can open this link, which is given in the description or in the blog post if you're reading from there. Scroll down on the web page and just download the Open Beta 1. It will be around 1.49 GB of size. And the watch new, you can read that it has a brand new user interface for Android Pie. Although there are some known issues, the one which I have seen that it doesn't work is the Google Pay. The rest, I could not face any issue yet. So things are going smooth. Download the version. I have already downloaded it. It's on my PC. So first we transfer it to our mobile. I've connected my OnePlus and I'm pasting it here in the root of internal storage. So let's move ahead while this copy. So after copying, we have to move it to our mobile phone, which I'm already doing. I am moving the downloaded beta zip file to the OnePlus 6. So now this is over. We'll disconnect our OnePlus 6 and we'll head over to the phone. So, in your phone, go to settings, system update, and click that wrench on the top right, local upgrade. You can see the file here and what you have to do here is just press the install now button and that's it there's nothing else you have to do that's it now we'll move to the I'll hit cancel here because I'll also show how to install it if you have a custom recovery installed so let's restart our phone into the custom recovery And then we install the same Android Pie. So I am in the custom recovery now. If it's password protected, you'll have to do the secret thing. So we'll I'm taking a backup here, which is generally good to take backup off and on of your whole system, but it is not compulsory, it is optional. Once the backup is done, we'll go back and select the, we select install and then we'll go and select the downloaded file, the beta file which you downloaded from the OnePlus website and we'll flash that. It's in the root of internal memory and I'll swipe to confirm flash. With this installation of the Android Pie, Beta is going to take a lot of time and will not show any sort of information, It'll just say step 1 by 2 and 2 by 2 and will complete. So we'll move ahead. So now we are done. Now I'll again go back and I'll again flash the recovery file. It is just to double check and ensure that when we reboot, we have our own custom recovery installed. DWRP is installing itself. And that's done. I'll install the root as well. I just have to bash this magic file. And we have root on 16 and word files. Again, it'll take some time, so I'll just skip to it. Okay, now we are done. We reboot the system. All right, so on boot up, now we are on Android Pie. I'll quickly go and go and check it in the about phone. Click on the Android version. Now you can see the Android version nine. Tap on it. And there you go. Android Pie Easter egg. I explain some of the features. 
some of the most noticeable features so the persistent setting now you can see the android stop that android is accessing my phone and it's connected from a laptop now this is a persistent setting there's no way of hiding it in per previous versions phones could apps rather could hide it second setting is you can have a private dns provider uh, i have given it in the file on the left if you can see you can add 1.1.1.cloudcreate.dns.com then we can also hide the clock but as till my testing now this thing reappears after a reboot or after a few hours i hope the another update will fix this issue now if you go into the battery settings of first the navigation the famous by setting of back and home to be honest i did not like it uh, it's fine uh, some people might do but i like the navigation gestures they are kind of better and the vertical app layout is not good confusing i think i'll just switch back to the previous one which oxygen os has to offer find it easy because after some time I am now used to it okay in battery we have this adaptive battery as it's new I've just flashed it so it'll take some time before the Android Pie artificial intelligence comes up with the plan which apps it has to stop and which apps it has to keep allow running then we have a storage manager in the option in the storage tab I have no idea what it does I've turned it on for now let's see what happens how it manages in security and lock screen we have a security update notification which will tell you the patch security patch like this is the latest one september 5 2018 so it's a good way to see rather than going to settings in about a phone now you can see it here we have a show lockdown option which is very interesting you can turn it on go in the home screen press and hold the power button it'll show a new option will say lockdown now in this lockdown option no biometric no face unlock works you have to enter the pin there is no other option users can differ maybe you can suggest uh, or come up with a good use of this option but i think it's a good way of turning off on essential options this is a app switching display which i do not like up till now okay then we have the uh, Google Lens, uh, which is built right onto the camera. Oh yeah, in the app switching, you can have the split screen lock and app info in your multitask view. So this is good, but still not in favor of it. So in your camera, they have built in the Google Lens. So you just swipe up from the photo or video tab, and you can see the go Google Lens option. Just find it anywhere you want. Select something. If there's a text, you select it. It'll try to read it out. So I think this is handy. Being built in. I've been exploring it for a few days now, and let's see if there's anything new or interesting I come up with. I'll update in the blog post. If you can share some good features you faced, you may let us know. So that's all for now. Uh, you may subscribe like whatever people do on youtube i'm not so good in all this stuff